Today we are talking about the government shutdown and how it is changing or not changing Mauricio's opinion on personal finance and the plans that we've had to become debt free. Again, please keep your comments to personal finance. Y'all are killing me. Don't make me get out my mom voice. You don't make me get out my mom voice either. I'm used to it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia and this is my husband Mauricio. Mauricio and I met 10, no, we met more than 10 years ago. Mauricio and I got married 10 years ago. I met him, what, three years before that when I was stationed in Colombia and he was living there. He's Colombian. I know. Everybody knows you're Colombian. <laughs> or we're Colombian. You're American now. So less than three years ago, we actually embarked <coughs> on a debt-free journey. Now I have to do it again because you're clearing your voice. Less than... <coughs> than <coughs> less than three years ago. Stop laughing. <laughs> Wait, what is it? A little less than... <laughs> Can be the longest video ever a little less <laughs> <laughs> i can no longer do this so a little less than three years ago mauricio and i decided that we wanted to become debt free and in that time we paid off 188 thousand dollars worth of debt gotten one full month ahead which means what we earn in this month or what mauricio earns in this month goes to pay next month's bills and we have also put away $10,000 in sinking funds, all of which we never thought would be possible just by focusing our budget. So in our marriage, I'm the budgeter and he's more the spend what she tells me to spend kind. We do have regular budget meetings, but they're usually very casual, and not painful. formal. They are not painful. They're lovely fun love talking about money. Mauricio and I are both natural spenders. We both like to spend money a lot. And it has actually been surprisingly easy to pay off as much debt as we have just because we have prioritized our financial goals first. So Mauricio, can you tell everybody a little bit about our financial journey and what your vision of our goals were prior to the government shutdown. You get to a point in your life when you live paycheck to paycheck and then sometimes you don't have enough money to pay whatever you need to pay. And then, and it's not that you don't have the money, it's that uh, you earn enough money, but uh, you've been, I mean, not very smart or responsible with money. And then um, you have a lot of debt. So it gets to a point where that impacts your life, your personal life, and, 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 and living as a family, like not being able to do stuff because um, money. And, and living, I mean, life with worrying about money and debt and having to pay a bunch of money is not fun. So um, we get to a point where like, okay, it's enough. We don't want to live this way anymore. So then um, we, we started this journey. It's, it's awesome. It's great. I mean, it's a... It's a long experience, it's hard, it's not easy, it's not easy to, to stick to a plan, especially for people like Wendy and I, like we're spenders, we like to spend and give a lot, and most of the stuff that, are, that we own is because we, we've given stuff, and we're not, we don't regret it, a lot of stuff that we have my family, my sister, we don't regret that, but I think we could have done it in a better way, without getting into so much debt, and, and we learned a lot of stuff, like most of, one of the biggest things that we learn is that, uh, you gotta put yourself first. You gotta take care of yourself and your family first, and 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 do not um, spend, overspend, or, or promise stuff that you don't have. Because that's what we did. We got in a lot of debt too, because we made promises, and that that was a big mistake. But anyway, not mistake that we did. It's just that again, we if. If we, we had, had to, to do, do it, it again, again, we'd still do it. We would have done it. But we would have come up with a different way to do smart it. Smart way to do it. Uh, so anyway, um, so it it's changed. With I mean. Seeing every month paying my, a lot of debt and being, I mean, um, we still, we have debt, but um, it's just that it's different. It feels different because we have a plan. And, uh, and it's that, f it's feeling like financially secure and that, that you know the money's going to be there. And if something goes wrong for whatever reason, like the government shut down, you're going to be okay because you have a financial plan. You have um, emergency funds, you have money saved, you have a plan. And then again, we're not living 
paycheck to paycheck, which we changed a lot. We changed a lot to get to this point. And like living with Wendy's parents, that's, that's, that's a big one. But uh, you, gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. And before, we, especially me, I worry too much about what people would think about that. But it gets to a point where like you just don't just give a damn because you know it's all so it's about you. You gotta I mean you gotta look for the future of your family and all of that. And and people that judge or hate this, oh look at what they're doing. You know what? Nanya. Nanya. <laughs> so um <laughs> it, it, so anyway, so we get to this point. We've been in this plan for three years, it's working great, we've paid almost two hundred thousand dollars. We have a bunch of sinking funds we safe and we get to this point. I mean this, And we're getting to take a six thousand dollar trip to Colombia. Cash. Cash, which so, is, yeah. and it's been, what, 18 months since we've yeah. seen your family. And the credit card that we're paying off is because a large, a last trip, we, I mean, that's credit card. We used that. that we no, mailed, it, it was two trips ago. Well, we milked that credit card. But anyway, um, so, and, and now we to this point, like the government shut down. And, and, and wow, it's, it's, a, it's an eye-opening experience and, and seeing other people and how it really impacts people. Again, this is not about politics and everything but uh it's about it, it could be a government shutdown it could be losing your job it could be your spouse your significant other getting sick an accident not getting paid i mean it's, it's just don't look at it as like oh it's the government no it, 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 again it's just politics leave it aside put it in put it in a different scenario like emergency you lose your job and everything so it's a really i mean a eye-opening experience so um, so how has it changed you, basically? Do you view our finances the same or you... Earthquake. It's not an earthquake. You know, for example, you know that I am very much a, like, maybe we need to have some money, more money saved up. Stop that. I can see you in the camera. <laughs> so you know that I am very much a maybe we need to have some money saved up. So what are your thoughts on this? Does it enforce your resolve to become debt free or do you want to start saving? What if we haven't really talked about this, have we? Huh? We should probably do that. Probably should have done it before I turned the camera on. Stop staring at me. Okay. Come on. I'm, I just asked you a question. Oh, was that was that a question? That was a question. Damn. How how has this affected you, or has it even affected you? Has it strengthened your resolve to become debt free? Yeah. So you want to get out of debt faster? A couple of things. Um, one, it yeah, it it is, it's kind of. <laughs> I know it's a, it's a hard situation, but it's encouraging. Despite the what's going on, when they're not getting paid, that uh, we're okay. And again, and, and I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you live with your, your parents and this, this. You know what? Get over it. It's, it's, you gotta, again, it's, it's what we thought it was the, the best, you know, and, and there are other oh, situations. There are, situations. Just... It, it, there are other things that, are, that I know Wendy shares a lot, but there's a lot that, that goes in the house that, that just doesn't get shared. But I, that, there's more than just a financial reason. There are more reasons why we're still here, okay? So just leave it at that. And if you're going to hate, hate as much as you want and just... That's not good for you. But anyway. You've gone off on a tangent. I know. Let me go back. But um, it, it's just that uh, we are, um, it's kind of it's kind of relieving. I mean, it's, it's, it feels like a relief that we have a plan that even though she's not getting paid, we're fine. We can make the payments. Now, we, we get into a point where like, okay, this is getting a little longer. We can, you know, uh, call the banks. And I'm sure you've talked about this. Despite what's going on. Uh, we were okay. We we're making the payments. Then this, this is, I mean. There's some things that are coming up. When it's coming up with a video about uh, what, what what's gonna happen because I mean this keeps going on and it gets to the point where like okay we're a month ahead. We do have a bunch of money there saved and sinking funds that we could use to make the payments and all of that. But um, at this point, there's, there's other ways that we can we can we, we can do in order to make you know pay or call the banks and everything. Wendy has a whole video on that. But anyway, that I know it was kind of complicated. I just can't get my my head around that. But it's like. It's a feel of relief, like okay, we, okay. In comparison, uh, you know, if you if you in comparison to, to some other, people we know who are completely freaking out about the whole thing, and, so, so and it it's works. scary and sad for people, for sure. So it it works, it it, it works, and 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 it's completely worth it, and and it's not easy again, but um, 
but look and look at this it's fine and again obviously to it, don't judge it's just it works for us okay um another thing is that um yeah it, it really it, it, you see the results and it like it kind of energizes you like okay let's do it let's pay off this so faster. if it were up to you if you were making all the decisions about finances you would say let's just plow through it and get it paid off that much faster and then save you don't want to save any more money We've done it this long. We're surviving now Save with what we while. have. Like saving three months of expenses just so to would have. That impact, if this would that impact the sinking funds and all of that? No, I don't think it would impact the sinking funds. What is going to come out the money to save for that? What, what is it? The, the debt payoff. So would you, okay, let's say we have $5,000 a month to put towards debt every month. $5,000. Would we put... All five thousand towards debt, or maybe put twenty five hundred and twenty five hundred towards debt and twenty five hundred towards savings, and take longer. Or in an ideal world, my opinions aside, what would you want to do? My personal opinion is, um, and it goes to go back to your first question. What we learned about this is that uh, an emergency fund needs to be a robust emergency fund. Like, okay, for instance, um, the. The day Ramsey plan, it, you know, they recommend thousand dollars for us in a thousand dollar emergency fund. I mean that. I mean it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So, that being said, I think that uh, that one of the things going back to your question, um, uh, I said for for a period of time, let's just meet our regular payments. The five thousand for twenty five hundred dollars, saving two or three months of of paychecks. Then once it's done, let's go back to pay everything else now i guess at the end is the same because if you if you're meeting your obligations and you over i mean like if you put in five thousand you're ahead of your payments can you get ahead like a month two months three months some of our payments like with navy federal they don't do paying ahead you you put your money towards principal but your payment is is your payment and usaa is that way you you always put that extra money there are two options. You can put it towards principal or awesome. you can pay ahead. And we've always opted for extra money to go towards principal, not to pay ahead. Okay. No. I, so you see, I think that I'm, if you if you have the extra money to put towards, you have an extra money to put towards that, you know, on top of your, your minimum requirement, whatever, um, a couple months, you save some money and in, in like for a, an emergency like this uh, on top of your emergency fund. Again, the thousand dollars. I don't know. For some people, it'd be enough. Every situation is different. I believe. For us, it's not enough. So, but so, in this particular scenario, we're doing okay. If they were to call you next week and say, "Okay, this is your last paycheck. You're not getting a paycheck," we would still, on the plan right now, the the spending plan that we have, we'd be able to go four months with what we have. We wouldn't be able to do anything oh, and i'll get a job the same day i get the call but that's probably true but what if they expected you to go to work it's not gonna happen well it could thing. happen and they would just back pay you like they're doing me i don't know i honestly i don't know what i want to do i don't i don't know i go back and forth like some days i'm like i i think we should save up at least three months and just sit it in our sinking fund account and then some days i'm like no we should just finish what we had planned so oh, well uh. yeah and some of the things is some people may not have the extra money to put towards that so they don't have the the ability to put the extra money towards saving for three months so right. at, at this point is um there i mean like in this situation with the government i mean calling banks saying i'm a government employee i cannot make my obligations because the government is not paying me. They, I mean, the, the, even documents that the government sends you that you can send to your bank and everything. So that's an option too. So, uh, but I, I think, I mean, uh, again, it's, it's complicated to narrow it to every single situation for us. I think that, um, we, we have the money to put towards saving, you know, for three more three months of, of, of expenses. That was what I would do. And then after it's done, then we're going back to paying full force, you know, everything towards debt because 
again, this is a learning experience. This, we haven't been through this before. No. So, uh, so uh, Not I mean, in 20 years with the government have I ever been. The only other time I was like two days late with my paycheck and that was it. So, um, yeah, so at this point it's like, okay, it's, it's nice to have that there. That even though you're not getting paid, you have the money there. So, okay, we'll have the money here. And then you can use other things like calling the bank and, and, and port whole payments. Listen, the banks have options, especially those friendly banks that government, you know, like the bank that we use. So every situation is different for us would be that. That's my opinion. I don't know about the queen over here, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's definitely a learning experience. So we've, we've learned a lot and, and then, uh, one, th this works, the whole getting out of debt, having a budget, a plan, sticking to your plan and all of that, it works right now. We're, we're in a good, in a good shape just because, yeah. Um, we're not in the same shape as a huge number of our coworkers. Yeah. At all. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out. And you're out before I'm out. <laughs>